I just finished speaking with a writer friend of mine and what we've done in the past is we've scheduled writing times together, meaning that she's working on her stuff, I'm working on my stuff, and we'll pull in other people and they can work on their stuff. It's almost like a study group together. And we'll get together and we'll spend an hour, hour and a half working on stuff, and then we'll stop and read what we've done, and then work, you know, take a break, and then work on it again. So we're scheduling more of that. And I haven't written much in a while. Recently, I just, I just played a little bit a couple days ago with some of my, my fantasy writing. And so I'm, I'm kind of thinking about that again. But it's, it's coming up more and more, so I, and I haven't spoken much about writing here lately, so obviously I haven't been working on it. But it's coming up more and more. Sometimes, if, if something's on the back burner and it shouldn't be on the back burner, or you're working on something and you don't know about, about moving forward with it, sometimes you need to stick your foot in the pool. Sometimes you need to jump in. Now, I'm not talking about jumping in, quitting your job, and hey, I'm suddenly an author, and I'm going to live off of all this stuff that I've been writing. I'm talking about just jump in, set some time aside so that you can work on that thing that you want to work on or that thing that you, you say you want to work on, but you're secretly avoiding it because ah, I can always do it. I've said it before. I'm going to say it now. You will never have enough time to do those things that are that you say are important to you. What is actually important to you is the thing that you're working on. You know, uh, if it's more important for you to watch, you know, your stories on TV, to play your video games, to hang out with your friends, which is not a bad thing. None of these things in and of themselves are bad things. If it's more important for you to do these things, that's what's important to you. If writing and finishing your novel is important to you, then you're, then you're working on it. If you're not working on it, it's not important to you. Your action is speaking louder than what you than than the truth you say you're speaking. Um, so really, stick your foot in the pool. You know, force yourself. <laughs> force yourself. I just had a, a a memory of my friend John Davis, who said, "Hey, you need to. If you really want to be a speaker, you need to speak. You know, throw your backpack over the wall so that you have to climb the wall to get your backpack back." commit to something, set it up so you have to do it. Otherwise, you'll find uh, other things to do, other excuses that you don't have to, whether they are valid excuses or not. I have to take care of my family here. I have to do this. I have to do that. All valid, but they still don't get you your backpack back. So what's important to you? How much of it really is important to you? If it is important, you're going to do it. If my writing and finishing my my novel, Cloaks and Daggers, is important to me, I will do it. If it's not, I'll keep putting it on the back burner so I can extend this beyond 10 to 20 to 30 years that I'm working on this damn thing. If becoming a, a speaker, motivational speaker, whatever, public speaker is important to me, I will do it. If it's not, I'll keep putting it on the back burner, uh, citing that it's so out far my, outside my comfort zone that I, I just don't know what to do next. You know, that's my story. I don't know what I'm doing. Of course you don't know what you're doing. But anything worth doing well is worth doing badly first. So do it badly first. Throw your backpack over the wall. Stick your foot in. Set up a, a time where you can write with your friend. Uh, schedule a, a speaking engagement with, I don't, I don't even know what. That's, that's mine, so I don't know what. And I don't know what yours is. So this has been kind of rambling hope you get something out of it but this is these are the this is the stream of consciousness that's going through my head today so climb that wall get your backpack back and if you haven't done it yet throw your backpack over the wall uh, mine is today setting up writing time with my good friend the public speaking thing it's a bigger wall I've got to get more courage to throw my backpack over good luck to you and welcome to my mortar world